Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. Today, I am playing in eyeshadows. It's been a little minute. So today we are playing with Sydney Grace, and this is the first time I've ever used their eyeshadows, and this look is gorgeous. So if you wanna see how I got this look, then stay tuned and keep on watching. All right, so we know I was on a no buy or like a super low buy for a long time. And then it seems like this summer when everybody was thinking about COVID and trying to save money, all these brands started coming out with new products. And so I did well not buying a lot of stuff to start. And then I bought the Natasha Denona palette and I bought a Pat McGrath palette. And then I heard about this Sydney Grace Christmas in July. Now, I found out about Sydney Grace from Kinky Sweat Alicia and from the Fancy Face Tina, but I never really thought about getting any of their shadows until I saw these. These are their multi-chrome formula. I got the colors. Oh, no, they're not on here. Meh. Yeah, it is. Ooh, I need to put these in something. Okay, so I got the color Beauregard, which is this gorgeous purple, blue, pink. I don't wanna put my fingers in it. Ugh, okay. Part of the job, B. Oh, I feel like I should have washed my hands. So I'm going to swatch this. This is what it looks like. Look at the shine on that, y'all. Oh, how do I want to do this? So it looks almost like a blue, purple, pink. You can see on the edges it gets a little darker. Then I got the color... These are not pressed very well in here. It makes me nervous. Twisted shifter. Like you see how it's kind of like bumpy around the edges. Can y'all see that? It makes me nervous like it's going to fall out. But this is like a pink. God, I can't even, I don't know how to describe these. This one feels a little softer than the other one. It low key kind of reminds me of um, VS sextraterrestrial from Pat McGrath. I'm gonna swatch it next to the other. Yes, it reminds me a lot of that. Okay. <laughs> so if you just wanted that color, you could spend $15. These are $15 each versus $120 on the palette. So that's what that looks like. This is Pat McGrath. This is Sydney Grace. So there is a bit of a difference, but definitely multi-chrome. And then when I put them on my arm to swatch, left, the darker one is Sydney Grace, and then the other is Pat McGrath. The Pat McGrath one is also a bit more smooth and Sydney Grace is a little chunkier. And then I also got, y'all know I love my greens. This is called Chameleon Air. It's this beautiful bright green. I'm using a different finger for each of these to swatch. That's what that one looks like. And so there we have that. I'll insert swatches from the website because I'm sure these probably aren't showing the way that they're supposed to, but gorgeous colors. I see the most shift in the pinkish rose one like the Pat McGrath. And then the purple, I see it. The green, I don't see it so much, but I'm sure it's there. 
all right guys so i just wanted to give you a look at these shadows in natural light you can definitely see the multi-chrome much better here so the green kind of has a yellow blue shift to it the purple has a purple pink almost dark blue shift to it and then y'all know that's that pat mcgrath color who did it first um, and then I also got this Chase Your Dreams palette. Now, I was like, this came out during the sale. And I was immediately drawn to this because, let me just show you. Can you tell why? <laughs> I mean, really, that is literally like everything for me. Purple, pink, there's a black, there's a gold. Y'all already knew I had to get it. And they're deep colors, so I know they'll work well with our skin tone. The first color here is called the Dream. It's a very pretty gold. Second color is called Aspire, kind of like a peachy pink. The third color here is Be Bold. And I thought that that was very similar to this one, but they kind of have a different tone. For only nine colors in the palette, I would think that they would put something that would be a lot different, but that's what we have. Um, then we have the Chase, and then we have You Can. Then here at the bottom, this is Don't Quit. Then here we have the Drive. Then here we have your best. And last, the black is Enjoy the Journey. It kind of gave me Jack, Jackie Ina palette vibes a little bit. Um, minus the black, but just the color scheme a little bit. So I'm actually going to use this palette today. Mainly because I want to use some different colors. So I'm going to start off, let me start off with You Can. It's the center shade right here. Not a lot of kick up in the pan. Definitely picks up a lot on the brush. Yep, I like it. You already know that's my kind of color. If you are of a lighter skin tone, you might have to go into another palette or use a really, really light hand using this one for a transition color because this looks like the lightest one they have and this is probably going to be too dark. So you can go in with your bronzer or something like that just to kind of help. I just want to see what Be Bold looks like. Cause it really doesn't look like, I guess it's a little more pinky. We'll just swirl that on top and a little higher towards the brow bone. I'm going to try to use as many colors as I can so y'all can see. But of course I have no idea what kind of look I'm going for today. So we are just playing. I'm going to try this because I haven't done a smoky look. So this will be a little different than how I normally do my eyes. I'm going to take your best which is this dark purple. And I'm gonna put that all over my lid. And I'm going in with my e.l.f. shader brush. And I'm just gonna pack that. Y'all know how I normally do I do like a light color, a light shimmery color on my lid. We're just gonna try something different. I would do two eyes, two eyes. I would do both eyes different colors, but I have to go somewhere. So <laughs> I ain't trying to look all crazy, but that's really good pigmentation. The brush picked it up well. It came off on my eyes well. Color looks true to what's in the pan. I like that. Let's see if it makes a difference. I'm gonna use my finger for the other eye and see if it makes a difference. I think it looks about the same. So you can use your brush on these. 
That's a plus. We know how shimmers like to be finicky sometimes. So now I'm gonna take the black on a smaller eyeshadow brush. There's not a lot of kick up in the pan with these. There's a little bit, but not much. Tap off the excess. And then just to kind of go around the edge of this to help blend it up into the other color. Probably should have been a little more careful around the edges since I did my face already around the outside of my eye, but you know, we're just gonna bring that out a little bit. And now I'm gonna go back in. You know, I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna try Don't Quit. It is a satin kind of shimmery shade, but I'm gonna take that around the edges a little bit just to soften it and see how that looks to help blend with. Oh, I like how that looks. Kind of gives me a nice little gradient that gives more insight to what the palette actually looks like. Okay, I like that color. Definitely helped blend it out some. I'm gonna take my pencil brush and I'm gonna take the black again and I'm just gonna go close to my lash line. That's a pretty dark black. Look at that. I'm still going to put on liner, but I just wanted to see how dark this can get. Now, just to have a little fun, I want to take Twisted Shifter. And I'm going to pat that just in the center of my eye. I'm going to use my finger. So it'll kind of be like a halo eye. Ooh, ooh that is pretty. I know halo eyes are normally done with like a mat on one side and a mat on the other side. But we do what we want. It's makeup. Whatever you want to do. I just think that helps make it, give it more dimension. It makes it pop a little more. And you just put that on your... <laughs> oh, look at how pretty that is. Don't look at my nose. Let me try to fix this crap. All right, guys. So this is where we are with the eyes. Twisted shifter just dotted a little bit in the middle. I'm going to finish the rest of my eyes and then I'll come back and let you guys see the rest. All right, guys, I'm sorry. I realized that I didn't completely finish my eye look. Duh, Barbara. Um, to finish my bottom lash line, I went in with the black. Enjoy the journey on the outer third. Then I went in with your best, our lid color, and I'd put that in the middle third and all the way to the inner corner of the eye and then just to see how it would look I popped um, Aspire this top shade here in the inner corner just to see it doesn't pop that much but again this is a darker kind of smoky look so I didn't want to put anything too crazy you know what or do I let's see what the gold looks like the dream Ooh, okay. Yeah, that's bright. <laughs> All right, we like that. Just to give it a little shine, make you look more awake, eyes more open. So now the eye look is done. I'm going to go pop on some lashes and then I'll be back. 
All right, guys, this is it for the final eye look. Um, I did insert where I did my bottom lash line off camera. I was so excited about my lid that I didn't even think about doing that. Anyway, we just went total vamp today. And you know what? It's almost fall, so the weather doesn't feel like it, but I love fall makeup. Love it. So it is what it is. I'm wearing this today. I like, let me fix that. I love this eyeshadow palette. You can't go wrong with purples for me, but in general, the way that the eyeshadows blended and those multicolor shadows, the singles, I can't wait to play more with those. I love the extra pop that that gave me on my lid. And then, like I said, everything just blended well together. So definitely an A plus if you can get your hands on it. It's not that expensive. Like I said, it's $33. So if you want to try, this is an indie brand and you know, indie brands, sometimes they actually do better with their eyeshadow formulas than some of the mainstream high-end brands. So definitely check this out. If you're a purple lover, this is a great eyeshadow palette and pick up a few of those multi-chromes if you can. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Again, beautiful, shiny, a little different from what I normally do, but I like it. I hope you enjoyed this look. If you wanna see more makeup like this, more tutorials like this, then definitely hit the subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you know every time I upload. And if you're a purple fan like me, you love how this look turned out, hit the like button and let me know. Until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.